Hi everyone, Marian Emerson here. Um, I just wanted to share with you these beautiful, beautiful dies from A Pocket Full of Happiness. I've been getting quite a bit from her lately. Um, her designs are just amazing. They're, they're different to most people's. They're just, I mean, this is, this is my latest little batch. Look, hey there. I don't I just love that. The font is just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And you've got thank you. And then look at that one. That's a scripty thank you with a, a shadow as well. And then that. How beautiful is that? Rainbow colours. Everything. I'm sort of like, you know, getting into rainbows. And um, I've got to start thinking of things for um, my granddaughter's first birthday invitations and it's going to be unicorn themed and obviously rainbows so yeah they're going to come in really handy <laughs> um anyway so i fell in love with this fly away with me um die set again the you got you got solids and then you got outlines but it's not just outline look at that it's just beautiful um so i've gone ahead already and i've die cut a few i I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing and recording at the same time and thinking, yep, yeah, I'll throw a video out there. Um, so bear with me. Um, and then I haven't even got the backing sheet in this. This is one of the Wow Embossing Powder A7 stamp sets, Love by Verity Biddlecombe. Um, and I just thought that you make me so happy. It's just going to be perfect, especially with like lovely little butterflies. So let's just pop that there. So I've got my white cardstock from Wow, where I've cut it in half and then folded it over. And then I cut another little panel that's just slightly smaller. And I just, that's just how I like to do things. If I really mess this up, I can flip it over on the other side. If I really mess that up, then I haven't messed my whole card base up. Um, so let me just throw that there. Now I've gone ahead and out of the same cardstock, I've die cut um, all of these butterflies, but I also did some in vellum. So I was going to see, I, I played with these two colours in a previous video, pink tutu and rosy cheeks. Um, rosy cheeks has been inspired by Martina Manga and it's from the Winter Dreams Trio collection absolutely stunning beautiful beautiful modern christmas colors um so i thought do you know what i'm gonna play with that again i might just do one random one just to see what it's gonna look like so in the meantime i'm just gonna throw these out the way because i'm just gonna work on this one so let me just move that <clears throat> And I'm going to do that ombre effect again that I did on that previous video because it just worked so well with these two colours. So let's bring in... Oh, that's got, that's got powder on it. Don't want that. Bring in that. I do love using a brayer. I get lots and lots of good coverage on there. Got a little... Oh, little bit... For, oh, that's from Disco Ball little bit of glitter still okay so let's just flip this over i'm gonna go darker at the bottom because that just seems more natural and then just sprinkle little bits across the top there so that you don't have that solid line you don't want a solid line on there oops flick that off and then let's just go in just blown my butterfly away there with that second color these two colors i mean they were made completely independently martina made this one i made that one um but they work so beautifully together so martina if you're watching this well done we've obviously got some sort of telepathy going with our colours. Okay. Get rid of that. I'll just pop my lids on. Because I'm a bit clumsy at the moment. And let's just get my little. Get 
rid of that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to heat set this. Okay, so normally I would heat from underneath. Normally I would actually do a, a bigger sheet and then die cut. But because I've already cut them all just to save time, I'm just doing it this way. <clears throat> so look, just that just looks stunning. But you know what I'm going to say? I played with disco ball as well. So I'm just going to see... <laughs> what disco ball is going to look like on the vellum uh, you could do this with um inks you don't have to emboss don't feel like you've got to emboss everything i just love embossing powders and i work with them all the time so i just feel like everything has to be embossed um but inks would look beautiful so let me just i'll give it a shake because it's got uh, glitters in there so again it's translucent but it's got little silver bits in there <clears throat> if I lift it up use my little pokey tool and I might do this twice again like I did in that previous video and that gets more silver on there then just shake off Excess. Let's have a little look what that's going to look like. <laughs> Nearly knocked me disco ball over. <laughs> I wouldn't have been happy with that. Oh, that, that is just so pretty. Do you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. Can I just say, Choker, if I, I hope I pronounced your name right. Um, <clears throat> I think it's spelled Z-S-O-K-A. When I first ever met her, I think I called her jo Zoka or something. <laughs> like, and she's like, no, it's Choker. Choker. Something like that. But anyway, gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Um, amazing design skills, obviously. These, I just want to say thank you to you because these are just so beautiful. So I'm just going to get a little bit of glue on there. And I'm just sticking the body bit down so that these bits we can lift them up. I mean, look at that on the vellum. It's just beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So this needs to stick a bit because I'm using a glue, um, just a wet glue. That What do I use? Oh, I use the iCraft Ultra Bond. Um, because it's on vellum and it's going on to glitter, then it just needs a little bit of help. I mean, that's just stunning on its own. Oh, see, look, it's not ready yet. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to stick a bit more on there. Let's go. Du -du 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 -du. I probably didn't put enough on. If that come off that easily, then I didn't put enough on. So let me just give that a little bit of movement. I don't want the whole thing stuck down. I want these to be sort of loose and flying. Right. <clears throat> and do you know what? For ease, this is, my head's just saying to me, do it this way. I'm going to take the two little ones, flip them over, and I'm just going to repeat. I'm just going to do the same thing. Because I just think those pinks are just stunning together so let me put my ink on there 
If you haven't tried it with a brayer, do. It makes a massive difference. Just make sure you cover it all. But one thing to say is if you miss a bit, it really doesn't matter because you can just add a bit afterwards. Just heat set it and then go back in and do a little bit more. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just little tap, tap, tap. Across the bottom, tap, tap, tap. And there. Shake those bits off. <clears throat> and those, getting it all over the place because I'm working on the smallest bit of paper. Why I'm doing that, I don't know. <clears throat> And then let's just pop these bits on here. There we go. There's my little tap it off. And again. wrong lid I am gonna put the lids on again wrong lid <laughs> do you know what years ago wow used to put the color on the lid but not on here and then we sort of realized that um people used to put the wrong lids on the wrong pots okay so we changed it but it's still not full proof. I think I might have found the colours I want to use for my granddaughter's Birthday invites, if her mum approves, they're lovely. So, so lovely. Right, let's just set those aside. See if that's drying. Let's just have a little feel of that. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. It does take a little while. When it's against the glitter, it takes a bit longer. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll have a bit of disco ball. On these ones. And then I'm just going to throw a little bit more on there just in case. And then, oh, look, I've done it on the wrong side again. I'm such a numpty today. Let's do it this way. Oh, because I'm saving paper. I'm trying to do my bit for the planet. It's not a very big bit, but... <laughs> Every little helps, eh? So let me just get that on there. Get that off. That off. And then put that back. I feel a bit naughty because I've just used exactly the same as what I used on that previous video. But then again, it's nice because if you've got these, then it's another way of using them, isn't it? So let's just heat set them. This one over, put it on there. And 
And I'm using this. This is the Wow Heat Tool, and I'm using it on setting number two. It's really quick. Um, but don't, when you do it, I know it feels like you should because the button's there. Don't put your hands around the vents because that will just make it overheat. And then it will just die for a little while. Comes back again, but it will die for a little while. <clears throat> okay. I'm just wondering whether I should use a different adhesive. But we'll see. Stick that down. They just look so pretty. Well, I think they do. <laughs> See, look, they take a little bit to stick. <laughs> what you could do is put them down and then sort of stick something heavy on them for a little while. Because look, look at the vellum lifting up. That's the heat lifting. <laughs> it looks really cool, though. It looks really, really cool. So if I like if I wasn't doing this as a little video, I would put a book on them or something just to hold them there. So I'm just gonna have a little look. Let's have a little play about. They've got to look like they're flying, haven't they? They've got to go. Look at that wing. Let's flip that over. Mm, so pretty and then I feel like I could put a little sentiment let's have a look you make me so happy yep that goes perfect there now the only thing I'm thinking I feel like this is plain so I am just gonna take Oh, I just knocked the camera, sorry. <laughs> you probably all went a bit giddy then, sorry. Um, I'm just going to take my good old Martha Stewart scoreboard. Love this. So old now. Let's just throw a few score lines down it. It just adds, you probably can't see it on camera, maybe if I flip it around. But, it, oh, do you know what, I'm going to do five. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so, I am going to, it's just, it's only a tiny little thing. But it just adds just a little bit to it and it takes that plainness away. Um, if you haven't got a scoreboard, you could use your trimmer and just use um, like a foam folder on the line on your trimmer. Or use an embossing folder, actually emboss the background to give it a bit of a pattern on there. Let's just lay these back out again, how I'm going to do them. Is it like that, like that, like that, I think. So again, I'm just going to, oh, do you know what? I'm not going to use glue on this bit. Well, now we've got a helicopter going over <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if it picks that up, that noise. It's very loud in here. I'm in the studio at the end of my garden and I've got the door open because it is quite warm. And it's uh, picking that up. Right, so make sure that doesn't overhang at the bottom. 
So I'm using all the stuff that I used in the last video. And then one more. <clears throat> So, and then, and this is going to be the awkward bit. I need to now go, oh, that one's not big enough. I need a bigger, a bigger block. I should have one somewhere. She says, searching aimlessly for it. Oh, excuse me one minute. It will be organised one day. Where's my blocks? <clears throat> Why is it I can never find one when I need one? So what I'm going to do, I will cheat and put it in my... It's probably better to do it this way, actually, just in case. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. Oh, it didn't, didn't fit there, look. <laughs> oh, I could put it in there, but it's going to lose a little bit. But actually, that looks quite nice there. Just make sure that's in the thing. I hope my head's not hanging over. If it is, I apologise. I have washed my hair today. So let's just pick that up. Add a little bit of black ink. Do you know what? It does make me happy. I really like that. That's just really simple and very effective. I'm not going to pull this up too much yet because it's still sticking. I can see that it's still sticking. Um, but yeah, that is just that's so pretty. So there you go. A cute, simple little butterfly card. Thanks ever so much for watching.